instead we get slums what is, what is this yeah this is the slums of detroit in i don't, don't actually know when robocop takes place but i'm seeing like older buildings that were probably businesses a long time ago but now it's kind of devolved into squalor i mean yeah, there's businesses kind of. that are getting destroyed here by these hooligans um are you saying squalor because of trash because because this amount of trash you could go mm -hmm. to the big u.s cities like new york or san francisco um big yeah. big metropolitan cities and i think you can encounter a trash like this maybe even more like this is i mean not everywhere but in the bad parts sure yeah that's true and i guess do you okay looking at this picture would you want to be doing a nighttime stroll on this sidewalk right here i would not i would not want to i would feel <laughs> like i was in danger yep. so i'm gonna call that squalor i'm not sure Okay, if I take the hooligans away, they're doing violence in this immediate time. Okay. I still wouldn't feel comfortable. It's something about there's nudes, girls, mm -hmm. there's abandoned buildings, there's trash. It's all of it, all of it yeah. in combination makes it feel. I see what you're saying. It has a weird, it has a uncomfortable vibe to it. Mm -hmm. A little, a little bit of check my shoulder type place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it is functioning. I see power. That's right. Uh, there are businesses. I mean, okay. It's true. Yeah, nude, right. nude, so nude it, is a business. If a, <laughs> if a place, if a place, if a locality, if like a city is really falling apart, these are boarded up and empty. Yeah. So the fact that these are operating means that there's a community nearby that is servicing them, the stores, or maybe the stores are servicing them. Yeah. Uh, but somehow they're customers, and this place is this place is doing okay. It's it's functioning, probably maybe not well but mm -hmm. if it was completely non-functional like you said it would be abandoned yep so and there's also if we go to the next picture i think it is okay here's more this is after they fired their guns mm -hmm. doesn't seem to be a fire department like i didn't or maybe they just hadn't responded quickly enough responded that's possible but they do have water pressure that's true yep it's so not like the city if... shut off water to this part of, of the city right and if it was really abandoned and non-functioning they would shut off yeah shut it the off. water pressure there's no reason yeah. mm -hmm. so. there's no reason to maintain the pump pressures if there's no one in the city that's right also the street real that's great condition right not a single pothole right this is detroit this is, has winter summer cycles no mm -hmm. potholes oh yeah the, the so i learned this when i moved to a place that freezes during winter so the mm -hmm. the winter is really bad for the asphalt because water gets mm -hmm. in there and then freezes and then it expands just like an ice cube and that just that just mm -hmm. tears up tears up the asphalt yeah plus they got books here books people reading people reading that's good that's good for mine mm -hmm. there's also i think the next picture is yeah there's a hierarchy so these hooligans are messing up a store they're causing chaos but this guy is Bodiger's guy. Don't mm -hmm. mess with him. So there is some sort uh, of functioning hierarchy where they can mess up stuff, hooligans. Right. But you don't mess with Bodiger's guy. You, everyone so knows that. These hooligans, they could be messing with him, taking his vehicle, and just, just mm -hmm. messing with him for fun. But there's like a respect. There's like a, mm -hmm. a social system. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and then... They're messing up the store. To me, this looks like a functioning store, yeah. right? And yep. this glass, and they're going to throw this newspaper dispenser through the glass, mm. which it's functioning, which means why would the hooligans be throwing stuff through the glass? And then why wouldn't the glass just be boarded up if this happens frequently? That's right. So, right. So we're, we're happy. We happen to be watching a crime on the day that it happened. But if mm -hmm. this happened a day before, two weeks ago or like this this window would be boarded up and if that happened enough times the owners would be like you know what we're not even we're not even going to do business here like we're out we're checked out right yeah so and the fact that they're not checked out means that this community is doing doing okay doing okay and so why are the hooligans throwing something through the window maybe they didn't pay their protection money to bodiger uh so you're saying the store did not pay its protection money and so these guys are the the ruffians that are going to intimidate the store owner by doing a little yeah. bit of damage yeah pay your money pay your taxes taxes, taxes. <laughs> okay you know, okay your protection yeah. taxes yep. yep and then you won't get your store effed up yeah so it's chaos it's slummy it's squallery 
but there is a functioning society there. I mean, it's slummy and squal squalorly in in relation to what we want from American standards, but certainly other places in the world, this, this is fantastic, right? Yeah. I mean, the power's on. These light bulbs are all plugged in. One One's kind of weird, but they're all one's there. Weird. Gosh, mm -hmm. even at work, I have flickering lights. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not bad. Not bad. Plus employment opportunities. Heck yeah. Hell yeah.